Last week, suspicions of an attack on T-Mobile were circling the web. But now those concerns have become all too true as the telecommunication company has confirmed that many customers were impacted by a breach. We'll take a look at how this hack occurred and how T-Mobile customers can protect their accounts as we sit down and sync up with Rocket IT's weekly technology update. Hello everyone, I'm Chris Swinson, Technology Insider here at Rocket IT, and welcome to Sync Up, your new home for trending technology news. Fresh off the trail of a huge leak back in August, T-Mobile customers are once again at risk, as many have had sensitive information leaked, including their plan information, the number of lines they own, phone numbers, billing details, and more. But the severity of this leak doesn't stop there. For some unfortunate T-Mobile subscribers, hackers took this stolen information and conducted what's known as a SIM swap on their devices. Now, this is a pretty technical hijack to pull off, so let's quickly break it down before moving on. Every mobile phone, whether it be an iPhone or an Android, has a physical SIM card assigned and installed within it. These SIM cards are what tie your device to your account and allow you to receive calls, send texts, and access the internet, among other things. Through the act of SIM swapping, hackers attempt to call into your provider's customer service line, posing as you, and trick customer service reps into reassigning your phone number to a new SIM card. If successful, this gives the hacker complete control over your phone number, and from here hackers can take several actions, but the most devastating relates to multi-factor authentication, better known as MFA. Whereas a password serves as a first line of defense, MFA offers a second layer of account protection. That said, if you're using text-based MFA, meaning that you receive a texted code when attempting to log into an account, SIM swapping allows hackers to redirect the texted code to their device without you ever knowing. Commonly, this is how cyber criminals are able to hack into banking accounts and other sensitive profiles. So in the wake of this most recent T-Mobile breach, the company did take to Twitter to say T-Mobile is taking immediate steps to help protect all individuals who may be at risk from this cyber attack. If you have any questions, send us a DM and we can discuss steps to increase your account security. But if you're like me and you don't feel like waiting around for your question to get answered in a long queue, there are some steps you can take right now to protect your account. If you happen to be a T-Mobile customer, change your PIN immediately. Additionally, if you're using text-based MFA for any online account, ditch it. Look into something more secure, such as facial scanning, a third-party app like Authy, or if you really want to get something cutting edge, a physical hardware key from the company Yubico. Alternatively, if you're a business looking to implement MFA on a much wider scale, feel free to send Rocket IT an email at marketing at rocketit.com. And in the meantime, to stay up to date on trending technology news, hit that subscribe button and the bell to catch us on next week's episode of Sync Up with Rocket IT.